The reason why you don't hear from the narcissist. Narcissists are known to burn bridges. They are known to destroy their connections, reputation and opportunities, often intentionally. They typically create circumstances that are irreparable or irreversible. Situations that are impossible to rectify or repair. But of course, they are not going to acknowledge what they have done wrong to you. They are not going to look at themselves or hold themselves accountable for their faults and mistakes. They have an excessively high opinion of themselves. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They are not going to accept that they did anything wrong. They have to deny it. Their ego is too fragile and weak for them to ever acknowledge the truth. They live their entire lives in denial. Denying the truth, denying reality. It is a coping mechanism and a defense mechanism. And it is the only way that they know how to survive emotionally. If the narcissist has destroyed their connection, reputation and opportunities with you, if they have created circumstances that are irreparable or irreversible, situations that are impossible to rectify or repair, it is very unlikely that you will hear from them. Because of the things that they have said or done, they know that they are not going to be able to return to you. They know that they cannot rectify or repair the situation. They're also not even in a position where they would even be able to help or support you. Because in many situations, when you don't hear from the narcissist, the reason is because their lives have become progressively worse. They can't return to you because they don't want you to know that. They want you to continue believing in their false image. They want you to continue believing that things are going great for them. But when you don't hear from them, it's not always because they have found a new source. Many times, the reason why you don't hear from them is because their lives have become progressively worse since they have left you. They don't return or contact you because they don't want you to know about it. They don't want you to have satisfaction over how their lives have become. They feel awkward, self-conscious and ashamed. And they don't want to give you the opportunity to make them feel even more ashamed or foolish if you were to injure their dignity or pride. They don't want to give you the opportunity to do that. Especially after all of the things they said about you. All of the things they tried to do to destroy you. When all they were really doing is destroying themselves. If they were to come back to you now, they would just look stupid. Coming back to the person that they tried to destroy. The person who now has a better life than they do. Even after everything that they tried to do to them. After all of the damage that they have caused. 
They already know that there is no way that you would ever let them back into your life. If they tried to come back, they would be putting themselves in a position to be dismissed. They would be putting themselves in a position to be treated as a joke. As someone who is not to be taken seriously. And after everything that they have done to you, they know this. They know that you will never see them in the same way ever again. They know that they have ruined your connection to them, destroyed their own reputation and any opportunities they would have otherwise had with you. So you won't hear from them. They stay in that state of their lives becoming progressively worse without you. Some of them lose their jobs. Some of them have to move back in with their parents. After all of the hurtful things they said to you, all of the things they did to try to destroy you, they know that they can't come back now. They know that they can't repair or reverse the damage that they've caused. It's too late. They've gone too far and they know that. Which is why they won't even try to repair or reverse anything. Why would they bother trying when they know they've gone too far? When they know it's too late. So they stay hidden. They tried to destroy you and they failed. They tried to prevent you from healing and moving on. But despite it, you kept going. You didn't let them hold you back. So they lost. You beat them at their own game, which they created with their own rules. They can't take it. They can't accept that they lost. And the last thing that they're going to do is come back to you. Just so they can, just so you can feel satisfied with knowing that they've lost, knowing that they have failed. They're not going to come back to you just so you can do that. They don't want you to know that they are struggling. They don't want you to know what they're really going through. They need to be in a position of power. They need to have control over your perception. When you know who they really are and what they're really going through, it puts them at a disadvantage. They want to know everything about you without you knowing anything about them. They always need to have an advantage over you. Because if the situation was to be natural or fair, they would naturally be at a dis disadvantage. Because you are superior to them and they know it. Which is why they have to lie, cheat and steal. In their minds you have an unfair advantage. So they have to place a handicap on you. They have to create circumstances that make your progress or success difficult. Because you are more capable than they are. You have more potential. And it makes them look stupid. It makes them feel inferior to you. They might give you an excuse why you're not hearing from them or why they had to leave you. They might tell you that it had something to do with a family or friend. They might say that they're in a new relationship. But when the narcissist says something to you, there is always a hidden meaning that they're not telling you 
because of how it would make them look. If you knew the real reason, it would make them look bad. Narcissists are focused on their image more than anything else. Just because you don't hear from them, it doesn't mean that they're with someone else. It depends on your situation. It depends on how the relationship ended. They might want to make you believe that they're with someone else. But just because they're saying that, it doesn't mean that it's true. They might just be trying to prevent you from knowing what's really going on with them. Because they don't need to have the satisfaction of knowing about the undesirable circumstances that they are currently in. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.